Could you describe the feeling that you experienced when you summited Mount Everest? It was a huge mixture of emotions. There was a lot of happiness, you know, excitement, um, uh, relief. Hello and welcome to Career Central, the podcast where we demystify interesting careers. I'm your host Sachin Ramurthy, and this week we will be talking with father-daughter adventure duo Ajit and Dia Bajaj. Well, a lot of people already know who an adventure traveler is. They explore the wonderful beauty of our earth and roam the unknown in search for sheer thrill and satisfaction. Many times, adventure travelers are also involved in scientific expeditions regarding the collection of data. Being a professional in this industry is truly a dream job for those who enjoy the outdoors. Obviously, in order to become an adventurer or a mountaineer, students should show a strong interest and passion for the field. The training can be arduous and one must be ready for the long haul. You should also be prepared to face anything that comes your way and always be calm and collected when faced with pressure situations. Nowadays, there are professional mountaineering courses and certifications available throughout the world, including institutes like the Nehru Institute of Mountaineering in India. Today, we have Mr. Ajit Bajaj and his daughter Dia Bajaj with us on the show. Mr. Bajaj is the first Indian to have completed the coveted Polar Trilogy, skiing to the North Pole, the South Pole, and across the Greenland Ice Cap. He's also the first Asian to have rafted and kayaked some of the most challenging rivers across six continents. Mr. Bajaj also received the Hall of Fame award from the Adventure Tour Operators Association of India in 2010. In 2012, Mr. Bajaj was conferred the Padma Shri by the President of India. Dia isn't far behind. Having trained at the Nehru Institute of Mountaineering, she undertook the 20-day-long Trans-Greenland skiing expedition at just 17 years and in 2012, summited Mount Elbrus, the highest mountain in Europe. Their biggest achievement, however, is conquering Mount Everest in May this year. Without further ado, let's get started with the interview. First of all, what does being an adventure traveler entail? So, well, running an adventure travel business, I think, is the best profession. You can, I mean, if you enjoy the outdoors, it's...